Hey, this is Mrs. Ziegler, and I'm going to go over how you're going to access your classifying matter practice that you can check your work. So you will click on this link that says self check. When you click on it, it will bring you to this. When you click on make a copy, it will create a copy of the Google form that is the same as the worksheet that you have in class. So here I actually give you the word bank that goes in here. And the other thing that goes with this is when you click on your arrows to put your words in, it actually gives you all of those word choices. So you're going to do your best fit word that goes here. As you read through, these are vocabulary. And then the bottom part is practicing. Again, identifying if it is a element, compound, or mixture. There are some that is within here that is not matter. So therefore, if it's not matter, you will put the X. So again, when you click on it, you get your choices of either element, compound, mixture, or not matter. So for example, here we have a diamond and it has the chemical symbol C. So it has the chemical formula. So therefore I know that I will do element. And then as soon as I hit enter, it will change color. To show me that I am correct and actually it'll change color once the entire row is correct so since I have this one and I don't have the other two so therefore let's do the other two so here I've got sugar which is the chemical formula again so that one I know is either element or compound it's got more than one capital letter so it's compound this one has chemical formula uh, one capital letter so this one so therefore since these three are correct they turn green okay up here same type of thing when you pick the right word that goes into your space to fill in your sentence then it will turn green so for example here I put this this is not correct a pure substance containing only one kind of Again, you're going to pick whichever word that you are. And then when it is correct, it'll turn green. So this is how you're going to check your work. Um, here we'll give you your point value as to how many points you've got that are correct. But again, the easiest way to know for sure is to make sure your sheet is all green. You can check your work as you do this in order to complete your practice. This is something that you'll be able to use on your assessment. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out.